it kind of all came down to this one day. I think she was about four, it was like in between like three and five months. I really can't remember how old she was. I just remember Jade was still in school. I think it was kind of cool outside. Um, so I was uh, taking, I was going to pick Jade up from school. That's what it was. I was going to pick her up from school and I just started crying like out of nowhere and I could not stop. It's a good 20 minute drive to her school and then you have to wait in the car, the car lane and then, you know, come home. I cried on the way to her. I cried in the pickup line and then I cried all the way home. So. I ended up calling my husband and he couldn't answer the phone because he was at work and then I called my sister and um, she like has experience um, she used to have a job where she dealt with, like with new moms and so I called her and she, we talked for a minute and then she asked me to call um, my doctor and so I called my doctor well I have Kaiser so the way Kaiser has her own doctor, so you call you call Kaiser and then um, they connect you to you know whatever division you know the obst obstetrics or pediatrics or in my case what I was calling that day I needed to be connected to mental health. So um, we um, they connect me to mental health. I was talking to the woman and she actually wanted me to go to the hospital that day. I was having a panic attack basically. Um, and I wouldn't go uh, because I well I mean I have I have an infant and a Jade was three at the time like my husband has to go to work I don't work so he has to go to work you know and I didn't you know I wasn't gonna just leave leave him there to you know have to go to work and work all day and then you know how, what are we gonna do with the kids so um. I wouldn't go to the hospital so she got me in to see a therapist probably I think it was like the next day um, I was able to see the therapist and so I went in and it was just like a almost like a consultation and she just she didn't diagnose me with anything on that day um, I think that she just wanted to talk to me a little bit I think she, she just wanted to talk to me a little bit and just kind of figure out what was going on. So um, we talked and then I, I went back to her like the next week and we talked a little bit more and she diagnosed me with um, postpartum depression and anxiety. And uh, I cannot tell you how relieved <laughs> I was to hear it. And, and, and that's strange because I didn't think that I would be relieved to hear it. But um, I was very relieved to hear it because, like, it was a, it was a, almost like a validation that I was not just like losing my mind or overreacting or you know something like that. So it did. It was a validation. I'm sorry, y'all. I keep touching my hair. I'm not used to having it straight anymore. <laughs> but um, anyway, yeah. So I felt really validated um, that that it wasn't just in my head basically so um she gave me some paperwork to read over and i uh you know went to dr google and found some stuff out and base hold on she's being too quiet y'all hold on <laughs> hayden what you doing girl <laughs> so anyway um I basically I didn't take any um, like medications I'm not I'm not saying that you shouldn't I think you should do whatever you and your doctor feel is best I'm just not like big on taking medication like if it's not pain medication I'm not really that into it um, and that's only because I can't stand being in pain <laughs> um, so I think I think what helped most was just time um, she talked to me about having something of my own and um, that something of my own is Jade's Beauty Bar 
and um, I'll be going to I'm starting school um, next month for something else so I'll post a video about that soon uh, but she talked to me about uh, having something of my own or, and getting out of the house and, and doing something that wasn't like family related or baby related or anything like that so I think that and time really really helped you guys it's she'll be she'll be a year in 11 days I think and I'm just now able to talk about this I um, I recorded this video two other times and then I deleted it um, because I was not able to get through the video without crying basically and I didn't like right now I'm totally fine like I don't I don't like I'm good so um, so I was able to sit down and make this video today but I think you guys I just when I I kind of went through the same thing with Jade I just never talked to anyone about it um, so there was never like any uh, diagnosis but I just remember not feeling like me and I just want to say you know you don't have to feel embarrassed about something like that like it doesn't mean you're a bad mom but listen you carried a freaking human being <laughs> inside of you your life is forever changed you know you that human being that you carried came with a lot of hormones <laughs> Um, and I think some, some of our bodies just don't do well with the, um, change in hormones and that was the result. But I can tell you now, like, um, with going to the therapist and reading my, on my own and just, just time and just like understanding and telling myself, like, you're not perfect. You don't have to be perfect. You know, your family loves you. <laughs> you know, like telling myself these things because it is the truth. It's not like I'm just like saying it, trying to convince myself of it. You guys, my husband wasn't going anywhere. I guarantee you that, you know, he loves us. He loves his family. You know, no one's perfect, of course, but he's not... He's not that guy who, um, basically he's not a loser. He's not the guy who makes the family, like, trust me, he, he's not trying to be nobody's baby daddy and, and have all, you know, baby, baby mama drama and stuff like that. So, it was just all in my head, but that's really it, I guess, for this video. I just really wanted to, um come and talk I guess and I know there's someone out there who um, is going through the same thing and hopefully someone will see this video and like be able to understand like you're not losing your mind you're not a bad person you're not a bad mom your children are gonna love you your children do love you your your spouse or your mate or significant other or whatever however you guys refer to each other they love you you know um, and just don't I don't know, you guys. Just don't try not to, and I know it's easier said than done. But try not to feed um, that negative energy. You hear her saying, "Mama." <laughs> anyway, um, try not to feed that negative energy because it's really, really self-destructive. Um, like I would find myself like not being able to sleep because stuff that I read earlier that day and I just would be up all night thinking about it and holding Hayden because in my head he was going to leave he was going to take you know the girls so um that's really it I'm about to finish this stuff up you guys I really do hope that this video um helps someone to not feel embarrassed or ashamed about going through it again this is going to be a two-part video I'm not really sure where I'm going to cut it up at um, but yeah, so that's it. I think I'm going to vlog today, maybe. But anyway, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm going to put my Instagram and 
page and my business page um, down in the description box so that you guys can um, purchase these if you want. Um, let's see. That's really it. Um, don't forget. I think I said don't forget to scri subscribe. And here, my child is. She's a nuisance, y'all. She really is. Say hi. Hi. This little thing right here. Here, stand up. Stand up. She's big. She'll be a year and 11 days. Yeah. Say mama. Say mama. Mama. Yeah, she playing me. Say mama. 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 Whatever. Anyway. This hurts. 